Hey, what's good gamers? Here with Soul Kara, a spirit sword enjoyer type character. Whenever you kill an enemy with this character, you get little XP balls. And when you get enough of these, you actually upgrade your character, you level yourself up and get better statistics. What's in our first treasure room? It's a D20. You know, this character does not start with an active item, so maybe I can put this thing to use. Like uh, this red heart, but a bing, more bombage. So it's been a while since I've really played with spirit swords, so I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna type in sword on the workshop page and see what happens. <laughs> it's the first thing that caught my eye, so we're playing with this. Looks like right now we have 1.15 base damage, 1 speed, base tier rate, and it looks like every single enemy you kill grants 1 XP like Minecraft ball. I have to imagine that circle on the top left with the 0, 1 is indicating that I am currently level 1, and probably when I kill a, an entire boss, it'll grant more than just 1 XP. Working similarly to like a earn a souls type deal, you know what I'm saying? Nice, a soul heart here. Let's look for the secret room, it should be really easy. I have managed the right to try room or to the left of the shop either way it's basically guaranteed unless this is like a basement one secret room moment which it is turning out to maybe be uh oh nah who am i kidding it's right here and then i get a random death certificate triple key okay now all of you out there know that that is really rare right <laughs> That does not happen. I see that secret room pretty often, like the, the three pickup place with the mushrooms and the keeper. But I always feel like they're all different pickups, three of them being the same and three of them being keys. That's quite incredible. What is in here? We got a widow fight. They should die instantly because if you forgot, uh, spirit sword is very broken. I love this item so much. See you later, gamer. Oh, it does. Oh, nice. I did level up. Look at my stats. They're all green and nice. It does seem like the boss gives you more XP. Definitely not just one. So let's go down poor and see what we can work with this character. How high of a level can we get to? Character only starts with two hearts. We just picked up a soul heart, so I don't want to spend that on the curse room. Probably just gonna vibe around, maybe figure something out first. At least some flight, you know, before I commit my entire health bar to that. This is maybe the worst thing to ever happen to me. <laughs> this is a genuine spirit sword moment. What? Hello? Please hit him. Uh, how, like, okay, is this not checkmate? Hold on, I, I, I can figure this out. Mongo brain gaming right now. Look, you see this? You see the play? You've just made this infinitely worse. <laughs> Why is this the hardest enemy to kill? Okay, Spirit Sword goes kind of crazy sometimes. A severe lack of range, but we figured it out. We get a something's wrong. And in here, I don't know how I feel about 8-inch nails with Spirit Sword. You don't want the knockback, and it does apply. But the damage is so solid, and I'm gonna <laughs> definitely use it more than Blue Baby's only friend. Whoa. You guys see the vision? The amount of XP that I'm about to get? I, I don't want to kill them naturally. I want to do this. Boom. Holy moly. I just defeated a raid boss. Got a tinted rock over there. Yeah, I'll do it. And I'm thinking, you know, while this character doesn't exactly have the most HP, I'm willing to maybe go devil rooms. I'm on my Baldur's Gate 3 Dark Urge playthrough. We got a higher fit. We got so much cash. Holy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Gaming achieved. We got 15 cents. We can check out the shop after this golden penny is done doing its thing. What's going on in here? Absolutely nothing. Goodbye. I needed to come over here. My range is a big issue. This is a spirit sword moment for real. Can you please float on over this way? Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Hey, I might as well take this with me. Now I feel even more inclined to go devils. I feel with a guppy's drawing locked in. Oh, another level up. Nice. We'll probably get some kind of gupperton. I can see it happen. That dime actually physically hurt to show up. Uh, before we spend our HP on the curse room, let's see if we need to spend it more on the devil room. We'll just whack this guy a lot with my sword. <laughs> Leases are done for. Eye jobs does not matter. And that is the kind of like bad thing about spirit sword. You want damage over anything. And spirit of the night, as well as blood rights. That rhymes as hell. I'll take it uh, because it's going to be flight. Half price curse room and flight's always good. As well as the fact that I really want this dime. Curse room gaming, what was good in here? Uh, Cursed Eye is- Oh, <laughs> thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, my character looks dope as hell. Yeah, I don't need Cursed Eye whatsoever. It doesn't even really work with this item, I believe. It would just be Bozo later. Okay, first treasure room here. We get Tracked Orb. I think this item's okay, but I think the blind can be more entertaining. Tiny Planet. Uh, it's a range up, I guess. It's gonna make my swords fly around me pretty crazily. And the range is necessary, so I'll take it. It's nice. It means I don't have to get up too close to the enemies. I can kind of hang back, chill out a little bit, and not risk my own life too badly. Currently sitting at level 3 with the character, and already it feels like I've doubled my damage. And it feels like they level up kind of fast. I wish there was a bar to keep track of how fast I'm leveling, but I feel like, ouchie mama, that was terrible damage. I, I feel like I'm about to level up again. Like, at least once per floor. Yeah, see? 
there's like a, a time to it, you know? There's a certain vibe to it. If you get the vibe, then you just get it, you know? If you got the gamer sense, then you can sense it. World's riskiest coin to pick up. Just kidding. I'm God. <laughs> Wait, did that keeper also give me XP? That's kind of messed up morally, no? Not gameplay-wise, though. I will be murdering you. Goodbye. Definitely does give me XP. I'll take the broken modem. Let's hit this restock, see what happens. Tarot cloth. This is a fat item. Gargantuan size. Judgments is also good. I would probably just spawn these guys right now. Hope for a coin beggar, which we got. And then we'll just blow them up for that extra deal chance. And then I'm actually not gonna go and fight the boss just yet. I'm gonna go mirror dimension, go ghost, Danny Phantom style instead. And hope that I can get more HP because if I do spawn the devil, I'm actually not gonna be able to take anything. My HP is too low. Holy chariot. I'll take it. Thank you. As well as the fact that that shop is mongo juicy holding the options question mark and comp ass i'm a fan of both those items if i could only choose one i'd take the options though spirit sword with one holy mantle as if you're playing painted loss this is where it gets kind of scary we gotta be aware but we also have a panic button with our reverse chariot main thing about this is the fact that you get the major tier rate obviously that does not apply with this character or archetype or item in general however we do get the invulnerability by being a statue that's that soul heart we needed that I was mentioning. So, in case I get hit here, I'll probably just pop it. I'm gonna double tap my keys, and you're gonna instantly die. Spirit Sword's so broken on keyboard, you just go crazy with it. HP is nice. Pick it up, please. Roll this into some chests. I don't know why my D20s have been so fat, but I'm appreciative. And there's no way. Absolutely zilch that I can get 15 cents, unless I blow this up, maybe? Get lucky with it. Do I want that? Oh, oh my. Okay, here. This is the smarter play. If I don't get 15 cents from this blown up restock, which I don't know if I do, I'm kind of like almost there. I need two more cents. I could look around a bit. We can keep that treasure map there because it is on sale. That is at least one guaranteed payout from one of these shops. Let me see if I can guess the super secret room and then maybe I can get two more cents. The smarter play might honestly be actually blown up the beggar. That feels like that would pay out better and it's guaranteed. I'm going to guess the super secret room otherwise and I don't want to do that. Please. Oh, it was worth, man. Plus, I got bombs back. So let's take the options. And then I'm going to open one of these super secret rooms and then get 15 cents again somehow. And it's going to be great. It's not guaranteed that I'll find this thing, but I got lucky and it really did nothing for me. Let's head on here, clock. For the first time, I truly think a pageant boy might be optimal. <laughs> Lad... What? Do you have a hitbox? Am I crazy for not knowing that? Does everyone collectively know that except me? Am I the bozo? If I could just land seven cents, that treasure map mapping would be sick. Abyss, I'm not gonna scream for you, man. You're ugly. I'd rather take the Necromonomicon for bookworm progress, and that doesn't even really do much with the spirit sword. Yeah, kind of bozo. Oh well, let's move. What? Talk about a scam. Wait, talk about a mega scam? Okay, so I don't really understand what happened here. If you guys understand, then you'll also be just as confused, I think. First of all, what's in the treasure room? I'm blind as hell. Anima Sola. Uh, no thank you. Last thing I want to do is think about Dark Isa. Horrible memories. So that drop was a combination of, I think, what was it? It was broken modem and contract from below and options? No, that's what happened. Okay, I understand. So what actually happened is I, uh, recorded a run before this without my microphone on. <laughs> And in that run, within the first devil room, I uh, got contract from below. I thought that I had contract from below as well as options working, which is why I was confused why I was able to pick up so many of those. In reality, it was just broken modem and options question mark. I am trolling the hell out of this Minecraft XP orb. I don't know why I'm getting so much value out of this. I'm having an immense amount of fun. I'm going to keep doing it. You guys think if I leave the room, it'll give me the XP? Why do I have a feeling that it wouldn't? I guess this is for testing purposes. I'll check it. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> Secret room. I now know where it is. It's just a bunch of dudes. I like dudes. Dudes are pretty cool. I'll take the nickels and then probably roll this. I don't need cash and it seems like this would be fat. Time to rig if I get like a reroll card. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it there. This might happen. I doubt it, but you never know. I'll, I'll be back. You know what? Actually, hold on. There's one thing I can do. I can go to the boss challenge room. Thank you. What was in here? Wooden spoon. I'll take it. I also want to go to the shop, I think. Just lock that in very quickly. I got so much cash. I don't even care if I'm blind. I'll probably just
just take whatever it gives me. More levels, more damage, more tier rate, and more range. I wonder, why does it give you tier rate if you literally don't need tier rate? <laughs> Maybe there's a secret tier rate function with this character I'm unaware of. But as far as I know, you really don't need tier rate with Spirit Sword. Dreamcatcher, humbling bundle, we are going to be so rich. Well, I thought that was the secret room. That would have been sick. Oh, I just chose incorrectly. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna blow you up. Maybe a reroll. Still kind of farming for it. It's not gonna happen, guys. I'm just gonna take the item that was in there. Boop. Range up. Okay, cool. And then, uh, just some pickups. Better pickups than what we started with, though, so I appreciate it. Boom. No deal. That's okay. And more HP, which I kind of need because I've been getting hit a lot. Let's go. Dang, that's one. Oh my goodness. This combination of items is so unbelievably broken. Binding of Isaac, but I get every pickup known to man. You guys excited for Kung Fu Panda 4? I sure as hell am, but I'm gonna be real. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why. Are you gonna pay up with something? No, you're gonna bozo me. See, the last DreamWorks God movie that came out, uh, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I, I don't care what you say, that thing is peak. The intro to that movie is like, it genuinely makes me happy. My favorite movie of all time is The Iron Giant. But a movie that makes me happier than anything else is honestly Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I love that you can tell the care and love that went into that movie and i think they did it obviously because they want to put a lot of respect on the shrek franchise shrek 5 is coming out you know so they want to hype it up they want to be like yeah this is still the main two the goat remember shrek 2 yeah we can actually even do better arguably you know like either or it's around that level in my opinion kung fu panda i remember watching when i was a kid a youngin i was so into it dude the idea of a goofy panda doing goofy kung fu moves but prevailing in the end in his own way that's just a that story to behold kung fu panda 2 is peak kung fu panda 3 is good it yeah it's, yeah, it's all right you know but from the trailers that i've seen kung fu panda 4 i don't know if i get like the same hype level as i did of puss in boots the last witch when we saw puss in boots the last witch trailers we were like whoa this is different this is big guys oh my lord reverse stars but i truly do trust in dreamworks i am choosing to believe that they are trying to bait us and in all reality that is going to be a god movie as well as this being a god xp farm can i please d7 this room <laughs> i think it looks okay in the trailers but i'm hoping that they actually got some mega gameplay in there my prediction they're bringing back tai long for a reason poe is trying to find a new dragon warrior the first movie was all about tai long trying to be the dragon warrior but he couldn't he was not worth it guess who's gonna be the dragon warrior that's right that's my prediction come back here when i'm correct that's all i'm saying bombs are key let's go in the treasure room uh ouija board this is pretty useless, but thanks. With all that being said, of course, I just want the movie to do well. I want the movie to be good, actually. I like saying that more than the movie to do well. If the movie is good, it will do well. That's what happened with Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Remember the, the last movie? Like, yeah, it's funny in kind of like an ironic sense, and you can probably watch it while drinking or something, but it's not that good. So, you know, a lot of people didn't watch the second one until people were going around being like, holy, this is actually peak so if kung fu panda 4 is good i'm good chop hello fanny pack i'll take it yikes i would say i did that on purpose to proc fanny pack but i didn't pick it up in time so I, i'm just gonna stay silent and donate money <laughs> hello uh i always hate the two die can we talk about how the two die should probably not be a two die i don't know man of all of the things like two of the dice rooms are so similar it's one is re-rolls all the pickups in the room and the other is re-roll all the pickups on the floor <laughs> I understand that there is risk reward and you know highs and lows in a random video game but I don't know a single person that gets excited when they find a two dice room. There's gotta be something. We've got so many different dice nowadays. What else could it be? We've got the one die which is just the d4. The three die is a d20. The four die is a d6. Five die is forget me now? So what am I even talking about? It doesn't even need to be a die. Yeah you know what? Change the two die to like a cooler thing because as far as I can tell it's a boring type of effect. What's up Gish? I'm glad you're here along for the ride. We get some red chests and I am Guppy with tail locked in. That's Humongo. We're gonna need a lot more luck going forward. I'm gonna try and apply this to the chest and would you look at that. That's why we take every single pill necessary because now we know what our luck down pill is. We know what our luck up pill is and we can abuse the other one. Some good stuff here. I'm sensing a little bit of mega gamer gameplay. Okay. Uh, definitely not, but we'll keep it in mind. We probably want to spam D20 as much 
much as possible. Increase our odds of finding like a Perth or a rune, which would just immediately rig us. A Shard of Glass is a melee type of item. When you get hit, it's pretty good. I actually don't hate this item, unlike a lot of people. I understand that it can be annoying to deal with and it kind of kills a lot of people. But for this specific build, I'm down to clown. Vault. What's in here? I used to never call this thing a vault, by the way. Holy moly. I only started calling it a vault because Slay called it a vault. And Slay is like gongo knowledge. So I, I trust him with Binding of Isaac, you know what I mean? Level 9 now. Do I get anything cool at level 10 or is it just more statistics? You know, I haven't really noticed, but I, I feel like I actually am just scaling with the game well. I'm looking at my items and I'm realizing I haven't had a damage up, have I? <laughs> All the damage that I've been getting is purely from Spirit Sword. Oh my god. And of course, Guppy, you know what I'm saying? So the character plays well. You could definitely play the character. No damage ups whatsoever. I'm looking at you, 8-inch nails. I'm sorry I forgot about you. You were just so early on. Utero Uno. Let's make our way to the boss and also look for more secret rooms. I'm trying to find a reroll here. I just feel like I'm unable to. I mean, reverse stars will still give you items based on the pool. It doesn't have to be a roll. It's just obviously way, way, way more value if you can roll it. So why would you not at least try? Or, you know, wait as long as possible before popping the reverse stars. Secret room down here. It is time. You guys still at me on Twitter when you, you like find a random magic mushroom in like the mines. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna happen. Never mind. I'm adding you guys on Twitter. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, by the way. I, I gotta boost my numbers algorithm moment. I can't believe it. Magic mushroom. Long gone are the days of me saying we got no more damage ups. I cannot even cap anymore. What a humongo play. You gotta always do it, dude. Always commit. You never know when that magic mushroom is around the corner. I play this game every single day. And while I don't get it daily, I promise you I get it more often than most people. Just because I go for those risks. Honestly, it's not even a risk. Sometimes people are just lazy, including me. I get it. But when you got 26 bombs, just lock it in, man. Just do it. Anything in here? Luck up. Nice. It is happening, guys. Nine luck with the guppy's tail, with the magic mushroom. We are in a classical era of Binding of Isaac right now. Goodbye, Dark One, and goodbye, Adversary. Kraken Jax, big fan, 404, not so much. And in the devil room, we get Scythe? Hell yeah. If everything that I can find, a general damage up is the thing I want the most. Thanks, dude. Oh my god, are these spiders all gonna give me? Oh my lord. I am draining this womb of its XP. Nothing will survive. Everything is dying in my vicinity. Okay, make your guesses for what level I'm gonna end up by the time I beat the game. My guess? 17. I know, it's a, it's actually, you know what? 18. Seems a little high, but I am taking into account the fact that when we get to the chest, we're gonna be defeating a lot of bosses every single uh, room. And bosses give more XP, you know what I'm saying? Gotta think of the future. I gotta think of maybe not gambling every single time I see a game pretty please oh ho, ho, ho. it's worth it every time i'd like a tech too not that effective with spirit sword but more effective than most very good very good we were able to lock in and kind of clear out that arcade something i wish to do once in my life i don't know if i ever will be able to but that would be sick you know what i'm saying enter arcade stay there like 12 hours whether or not you like win or lose that much you just stayed there for so long and gave them so much money <laughs> that you could just buy anything you you want from the ticket stand would that be kind of like scamming yourself i guess potentially but i get value out of it because i had fun so i'd be taking that deal any day i'm going up ah torn photo hey you know what non-binding of isaac mega gamers out there would have been like ha huh, skill issue that meant nothing spirit sword does not work with tier rate but you know what i say did mean something because that means that Torn Photo won't show up in the future, as well as Binky, when I'm out gaming on the chest trying to find every god item possible. Now, instead, we're gonna get uh, Polyphemus, and the only reason that's gonna happen is because Polyphemus actually replaced the Torn Photo that doesn't exist in that timeline. I see the future. I already know it's gonna happen. Might as well just lock in my answer. Dead cat? Damn, I would've became guppy even without the thing. <laughs> I guess I could drop it. Like, like, why not? You know what I mean? This makes me not guppy anymore, I believe. So then I have to take you to become guppy again. That way I have a free uh, trinket space available. And then I'll take the mom's pearls as well. 
Okay, I will say there is one thing that is annoying about Shard of Glass that I will not deny. Uh, wow, holy moly, it pushes around your bombs like no other. <laughs> Not a fan. I don't know. I might have been a little bit off. We're only at level 13. What did I guess? It was like 17 or something? It might have been 18. I'm gonna say 17, but that might still literally be too high. We're definitely gonna get like 15, I think. But 17 might have been a bit much. What kind of restock machine? Oh, I see it. What? What? what that? Two left hands? How does that oh. even physically work anatomically? I'm re-rolling. We obviously don't need the left hand, by the way. I already got Guppy. Okay, there's the HP up we wanted. And what are we gonna roll into? Uh, conjoined? Nah. Cricket. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> I absolutely will. I guarantee you what I'm going to do is go to the chest, start room moment, drop the reverse stars, and then just go to town. I'm gonna Cricket Penny. Maybe even twice over. We'll see. Oh, and Bumba's gonna join us for that ride. What? Are these all- Wow, I didn't know this. I had no idea these were defaulted to sticky nickels. That or I am unbelievably unlucky. And these are genuinely all supposed to be available, but I got like the rare chance where they're all sticky nickels. Here's the secret. Ah, there's no way I'm getting a roll here. I should have let Bumbo take all that cash. My bad. Uh, yeah, we'll just go instead. Oh, what am I doing? I could restock this. Rubber. I- uh, It's not that good with Spirit Sword, but I love this item, so I'll take it. Isaac should stand, no chance. I feel like Spirit Sword is just such a hard counter. Also, Guppy being a thing in the game is a hard counter to uh, anything in the game, actually. <laughs> Later, dumbass. Dumbass being me. Goodbye. Okay, sane people wouldn't do this, but we know who I am. Oh my god! That's just how we roll, baby. Metronome, jawbone, lodestone, key bum. That almost rhymed. That was actually like a lyrical genius moment waiting to happen. We got GB forget me now? Okay, I'll do that. Capricorn Midas. I will Metronome. Oh! I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> It's gonna disappear the moment I leave the room, but holy, I got C-section? I feel like I've never gotten such a good thing from Metronome before. That was humongous. Let's open- Ah! I- 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 I'm losing my voice. It doesn't even do much. It was like a point twenty three damage up. Why was I excited? What happened on this last floor, bros? <laughs> We went crazy with the items. We're gonna get so many as well. Because we did build into our massive Guppy's tail play. Analog stick. This might be the reason we get to level 17. Mythical level 17, I know. Because of the forget me now, we can do it, I think. Let's just make sure we're staying behind as much as possible. What I wouldn't do for this to be like the triple super envy room. Holy, that would have been so good. Yeah, make sure we stay behind as much as possible. And pick up the XP. Let's not leave the room too soon. That's the best we can do here. That and full clear as much as possible. Bumbo big. Nice to have you on the team, Bumberton. Let's put you to work. We got our boss here, Blue Baby. These bosses have been giving me XP, so I'm still gonna do it. I was gonna avoid them, but I am gonna get a substantial amount of XP from this. Yeah, I did. So we'll lock that in and then pick up a chest I left behind. Hello. It's... I'm not... I'm not walking, guys. I'm gonna be real. You can see I'm not walking. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> That's been happening a lot. I I just didn't say anything. Maybe you guys caught on. I don't... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I, I, I don't even know what I was saying. I wanted to get that chest. It was bookworm progress. It was nothing. Chest moment. Contagion. More stuff. D8. I'm gonna run this. Hope I get some god damage. I sure did. Probably the best roll I could have hoped for is doing this slide thing again where I can't control my body. Oh! Hell yeah. More chest. Glass cannon. Don't need it. Here it is. The big one we've been waiting for. Oh, the XP farm's crazy. That was everything I could have ever wanted. Thank you, God, for existing. In terms of Binding of Isaac, I mean. In terms of real life, that's yet to be announced. I don't know. <laughs> Subscribe to the Battle Pass for future information. That was also a crazy room to witness. Mom's wig gives me mom transformation. I'll take the forget me now, and then I'll take all this good stuff. I need to use the reverse stars now, I believe. At least I think. But now that I'm thinking about it, wouldn't I just lose spirit sword? I think when I started the game, it gave me spirit sword, like physically. Okay, if this removes my spirit sword, I'm just gonna end the run. Because I don't want to play the run without spirit sword. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. But if it removes not spirit sword, then we'll continue forward. Boom. Do I still spirit sword? Oh, I do. We're good. We got red key. Sack head. I don't need uh, damage down. Do I guess the ultra? There's no way I can. <laughs> I'll just do the- Oh! 
I just picked like the most logical place, but it actually worked out. More chests, lemon mishap, and it also leads to bloody gust. Thanks, dude. And then let's uh, use drugs as per usual. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot the other reverse stars. My bad. Who cares? I got backstabber. We are working our way to conjoined as well, which I didn't say I really wanted, but if you're just going to give it to me for this free, then I guess I'll just lock it in. I got so much damage now. It is crazy how well this character ended up scaling. Level 16. I do think the level 17 goal and dream is real. I just need to kill a few more people. We just gotta found the boss. I'm hoping we got enough enemies for this. Because if I really did guess level 17, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that one. Oh, there it is! I got it! I can't believe it, dude. What a flowing as hell character. We got a D1 too. I'm gonna spam the hell out of this the moment I get a chest, which will probably be right now with how things are going. Boom. Okay, not exactly the chest I wanted you to duplicate. <laughs> There's conjoin. Big fan, how you doing? We got double chest here. I'm gonna leave that alone. That's gonna be our D1 room. More stuff, stigmata. Let's D1 really quickly. Boom, big Riggertons today. I did not want to open that, but it did the ice skating thing again. Is this like a passive buff slash nerf I get when I'm level like 10 plus? I just start skating even though I'm like <laughs> flying around? <laughs> I'm unsure, man. What is going on with my game? Lemon lim, 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 mishap? That is not lemon mishap. To be honest with you guys, I had no idea that item was called free lemonade until just now. Multiple decades of Isaac experience, but that is the first time I've ever heard that item be called free lemonade. I'm like 50% sure that was patched in yesterday. That just can't be true. Well, that was incredible. I actually got even more than level 17. Fate's reward here. I think we're coming to the end of everything. Here it is. Very good stuff. Let's open that little chest room we made for ourselves. Boom, boom, Book of Revs and Bomber Boy. What a god run towards the end, man. We got some major highlights by complete luck. Just running around, being overpowered as hell with our RPG character, leveling ourselves up Baldur's Gate style. That was awesome, dude. See you later. We ended up at exactly level 18. I can't believe how close I was to the actual final count. Uh, GG's.